poker, it takes no prisoners. The Devilfish is one of the most recognized faces in the game, but there are no guarantees on the table. It was the online qualifiers who stole the limelight and the final spot in the semifinals. And now we have 12, and this is where you get paid to play. Everyone's looking for the big money, and our first semifinal looks set to be a cracker. It's the semifinal stages in the chase for the $125,000 first prize, and now it's getting serious. I'm Jesse May, here with actor and poker pro Michael Greco, and Michael, semifinals. Are the players feeling the pressure? I think they're going to feel the pressure because the money starts getting big, especially for those three that get to the final. And it's very important now to get to the final three because that's when the money really does start to accumulate. Well, let's talk tactics. I mean, it is the final three. Not only do they get to go to this final table, but they take their chips with them. As soon as the table hits three players, we'll freeze, hit those chip counts, and that'll be their starting tack stack on the final table. So is it aggressive or tight? It's, it's, I think, first of all, play tight. See what the situation is. If you're playing against very tight players, then be aggressive. If you're playing against aggressive players, see if they knock themselves out. But you do not want to qualify for the final table with a short stack of chips because you're just going to get eaten up. You want to go there with a good amount. So I think just play your game. If you get the cards, you make the moves and you get the chips. Just play your game. Well, let's hear from a man. Tactics are his backyard. He's a battleship upstairs. Former world champion Phil Hellman. All right, we're down to two semifinals. What do you want to do? Well, first of all, you're going to be bringing your chips with you. So the final three players are going to advance. Three aren't. So to me, you have to be one of those final three players, even if you're a bit short. So I would play a very patient game. I would play a bit of a waiting game. Now, if you have a bunch of passive players, then you can be aggressive and pick up a lot of small pots. But if it's a bunch of super aggressive players, they may force you to play a big pot when you have a big hand, which is good, or you may have to just sit on your hands for a while and, and come in with a short stack. That's okay. You have to play a passive style against a bunch of super aggressive guys. You have to make sure you make the final three or you lose with a big hand. Well, Michael, Phil Helmuth says play tight early on and wait till the stakes get up there. But to me, there's going to be a big bubble four-handed because when it gets four-handed, if someone's a chip leader, they can really turn the screws, can't they? Yeah, it's, it's like a big multi-table tournament. You know, when it gets down to the bubble, everyone starts just uh, keeping hold of the stack and not wanting to, to, to miss out on the money. But then I, I would do the opposite. I'd try and get the chips then because everybody wants to get in the top three. But like I say, I think it's a case of sussing out your players and all of these are great players in the semi-final. Best man wins, really. And, and we could see a situation where one player ends up at that final table with a whole load of chips. A whole load of chips and second and third might have no chips at all. So it just depends on the cards, if you're going to hit the flops, on your luck, if you're in form, all those, all those matters. Well, it is a Cracker Jack lineup. The players are getting ready to get over the table. Let's see who's in and who's sitting where. Very tough lineup, and we're lucky to be joined by two of those players, dare I say, two of the favorites, Dave Colcloth and Barry Hearn. Now, Dave, in your heat, what an amazing comeback. Are you still feeling it? Well, I think it took me about two weeks to recover from that. <laughs> it, was, it was emotional, as TK would say. Well, wow. we, we can have a look at, at what it was like when you finally came back. You were down to 10,000 chips once, down to 15,000 <laughs> chips again, and you just could not believe what you had been through. And, uh, I, it I it was astonishing stuff, it really was. I, I, I've been playing for 20 years and I've never <laughs> experienced as many highs and lows in uh, a period of like three hours like that. It was literally just up, down, up, down, up, down. It was like one minute I'm gutted, next minute I'm on top of the world, then I'm gutted again. I keep <laughs> getting kicked down. And Dave, uh, you haven't had too much luck in the TV tournaments over the last kind of six months to a year. Do you think this is the, uh, the time to strike? Oh, it's the last three to four years actually, but uh, <laughs> hopefully... Uh, well, yeah, hopefully uh, the heat was uh, 
a change in fortune, shall we say. Let's hope yeah. I can get it on today. Now, Barry, one thing that comes through when you play poker is that you just love the game. Mm. You're always having fun. Now, semi-final, is it more pressure or more fun? Oh, this is total fun. There's absolutely no pressure on me whatsoever. I mean, I've got every respect for the players I'm playing. I think, I think this is a really tough semi-final. This is going to be a blow. If this was a fight, the referee's going to stop it to avoid the crowd taking too much punishment. This is going to be brutal. But it's got to be fun because otherwise, what are we playing for? Well, in your heat, I mean, you could just see by the end, you know, you were grueling it out with Liam Flood and Chris Parks. And then, was it a card on the river? You made a straight hand. <laughs> well, that's what you'll play for, isn't it? Well, yes, you know, if this game doesn't produce adrenaline then we're really in the wrong game um, Dave's had 20 years I've had five and you know I know he's probably had a lot more rushes than I've had but this is what we all play for I mean the money about. that comes out is lovely of course we all want to win the money but the actual rush of adrenaline you yeah. you can't buy it well the first semi-final heat of the party poker.net European Open is about to begin Michael Greco and I getting really excited why Barry Hearn Ian Fraser David Colclough Robin Keston Hello, darling. We'll be right back with the shuffle in here. Well, it's just about that time. Michael Greco, you've seen the lineup. They're about ready to begin. What's your what's your prediction? Fantastic lineup. Each one of them are great players in their own right. I cannot put my finger on who I think is going to win. Sorry. Too close to call, but you better believe they'll be in there trying their eyes out. Well, the smoke is rising. The players are seated. The cards are on the table, so no waste in time. Michael Greco and I will be guiding you through. Let's get over to the game. She brought everybody in the family. Each athlete. player beginning tonight with the standard 100,000 in tournament chips. Those yellows worth 1,000. The blues 2,000 apiece. And the reds are worth 5,000 each. And really, it's anybody's guess which of these six will be looking to drive the pace and which ones will be looking to sit back and make that final. OK, back on the clock. Glasgow. Glasgow. They're all as good as each other. And you know what? If you're going to hit the flops tonight, the man who's going to hit the flops is going to be the man who goes to the final with the most chips. And a total of 600,000 in tournament chips on this table. So Pass. those 600,000 will go cool. forward, putting 1.2 million on the final table. Oh, what a lovely hand from Robin. First time we've seen the rockets in the pocket this evening. 9,000 total. And, uh, nice. Robin creeps in behind Barry Hearn Pass. with a nice little raise of 7,000 more. Great place to have it as well on the button. People think you're making a little button raise. And Barry's here to play. He's giving Rob an action. Oh. This could get him into trouble. Well, 7 10 of hearts. It's been done before. Aces have been outflopped by such a hand. Not this time. That's got to be a scary flop, though, for Robin, isn't Check. it? Oh, Both Robin's checks. playing very cagey here. He may induce a bluff. Well, if Barry checks again, I think Robin will bet because it's a, oof. It's just getting worse and worse for Robin, isn't it? Well, interestingly, the ace, which would make Barry a straight, would make Robin a full house. So he's actually drawing dead to a nine here, isn't he? You know what, there's a full house there. There's a, there's a, 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 a straight, there's a flush. Robin's gonna think, okay, what's Barry got? He's called my raise. Has he got a king? Has he got the flush? Has he got the straight? Has he got ace 10? Just wonder, was, was Robin checking on the flop to raise on the turn and now he's gotten a bit scared of that card? Surely he's not going to fold. I he, think he could fold He it. would never fold. <clears throat> Surely he's got to raise him, see where he's at. He's got to put Barry to the question. Right, okay, you've bet that amount of money. What about if I come over the top of you? What are you going to do then? It's a tricky spot to be in, but has Robin played himself into this tricky spot? It's such a dangerous flop and turn. You just do not know what Barry's got. Barry could have anything. Hmm. Do you think Robin is thinking of... It's very difficult to lay down oh, aces. Yeah. It's nice. yeah. Pass. That's great play from Barry. It really is. 
Shows the 10. <laughs> over the wrong one, Barry. <laughs> For <Rapid laughs> sake, I could beat a lot of cards with that. <laughs> I, I'm only just having a laugh. It was, oh. it was to have so much muscle else in the show. What a play by Barry Hearn. Mm. <coughs> Rather than a bit of a downing Thomas. It, Seven, though, it, though. it just <sighs> seems incredible. I think because yeah, Robin checked, I Barry checked and Robin checked, then cool. that was probably a sense of weakness from, <laughs> from Barry. And he thought, OK, well, no, you've well checked. At some point in line, you'll see it on the telly anyway. Right? Because you had King Seven. You called that Razor King Seven. No, I showed the seven, seven Jesse. He showed the okay. seven. He didn't show the ten. I thought he showed the ten. So <laughs> <laughs> the past possible straight, but he showed the seven. What do you mean? Some I see it online. I see it in about twenty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I find out in about twenty minutes. You go out there and uh, go out there and they. Uh, yeah, no, 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 yeah, I find out. I find out. I can wait for you. I can wait. The bet's now five thousand. It was such a scary flop, though, wasn't it? And the turn card didn't help either. Dave Colcloth anyway, taking advantage nice of the commotion to raise to 5,000 under the gun with the King Queen. And Fraser's picked up a hand that's very good or very bad. And no. We raised to 15,000. That's Ian Fraser's style. He's not a calling station. Pass. He's definitely not a calling station. He Pass. likes to be aggressive. Pass. Well, best time one. Let's check out the ranking of hands. Each five card poker hand falls into the official ranking of hands. At the bottom of the ladder is high card only. Just above that, one pair. Aces are the high pair. Two pair is higher still, uh, three of a kind. The next one up, that's self-explanatory, also called a set. And then a straight is above three of a kind. That's five cards in a row of any suit. A flush is five cards of the same suit in any order. Full house is three of a kind plus a pair. Four of a kind, self-explanatory really. And a straight flush is what you're looking for. That's five cards in a row, all of the same suit. Royal flush is top of the pops. That is a straight flush, ace high. I don't think it tells you anything, Sean. Well, Robin Keston. I just want to rock you up. <laughs> clearly has the early idea not to get too deeply involved. We've seen him fold aces already. He's in a big blind right Pass. now. And uh, Pass. it's cold cloth on the button. Pass. Not interested. Barry feels like he's got a bit of a psychological Pass. advantage Race. on Robin right now. Six thousand more. Wow. Eight. Yeah, he's eight. got queens, really. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> I don't think he's laying these down. No, I don't think so. I think you come over the top of Barry here. Raise. Yep. Re-raise. I thought he was just calling for a second there. Yeah, no, that wouldn't have been a good call, just call. 20,000 more, 28 total. You're just doing this to me for last time, aren't you? You're getting your own back. Getting my own back implies that you had King 7? No. <laughs> I actually had less than King 7. Mm. Pair of 7. It's Barry just mm? trying to get a read Pair I think Barry's showing Robin that seven has uh, given Robin the umper bet, and he's thinking, okay, last time you bluffed me well. That's all right, he's having a go at him. Stop her. He's going to get a free look there. So a nice re raise by Keston takes the pot. Barry Hearn is left to think. Okay, I've raised two pots. He's gotten re raised twice. Are they after me? Yeah. It's not a good feeling when two pots on the trot, you get re raised. Yeah, you're thinking, okay, what have I got to do to win a hand here? I mean, uh, they say it's poker, it's not personal, but it's hard not to take everything personally at the table. Of <laughs> course. It is personal, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> definitely personal. <laughs> it's one of the it's beauties of the game. Personal poker. Pass. 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 2,000 to call. Right. Raise. It's uh, to 8,000 total. Ian Fraser Pass. on the button and on a mission? pretty Barry. cards from Barry. Well, he's coming across very aggressive, isn't he? But he's getting the hands. Blues he's getting the, the, the semi-good hands. And uh, he's doing, I think he's got a game plan here to be aggressive. He doesn't want to get eaten up and swallowed alive by these top pros. I think it's, it's funny how it goes, isn't it, Michael? I mean, you can come with one game plan, and then all of a sudden the cards dictate another. Whether or not mm -hmm. Barry came in to play or not, he's, he's just had some big raising hands. He has. He's, he's done very well. If you've got a game plan and it's not really going to, to plan, you've got to then go to plan B. <coughs> Never played so tight in all my life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think she'll be wearing one of your one of them Ian Fraser masks. <laughs> so from this early action, uh, Ian Fraser looks to be the most dangerous right now to me at the table. He's only played one pot, 
but it was a stone cold bluff and he got away with it and he picked up chips. He's a Pass. he's one of those surgeons, Pass. you know, he Pass. makes every ray Pass. surgical oh, Lord, and uh, precise. Paul? Yeah, he likes to limp in with his uh, trash hands. No rays. 8-4 against the ace-5 and Eddie London watching Ian like a hawk for this flop. And they've both hit a pair. Check. Well, Eddie's is just ever so slightly better. <laughs> He's got a better hit. There's three diamonds on the flop. It's too dangerous to uh, get a free 5, card. 5,000. I can't remember if I got a diamond or not. <laughs> Little tickler from Eddie. About the Pass. size of the pot, and uh, Fraser flicks him away in disgust. Mm. So uh, everybody's been very careful with their stack. I mean, we've played 11 hands, and the low stack is Dave Colcloth, who has a uh, 90,000. Fraser's in the middle, about where he started. Uh, nobody's done themselves any serious damage. No, it's not really got going yet. Whole cloth, not the sort to panic about going behind a tad early. Yeah, he won't panic, he's so experienced. He knows what he's doing. He says he's been in bad form lately. Took a trip to uh, playing a big tournament in Copenhagen Pass. recently. He spent Pass. four hours on the plane Pass. getting over there. Played for a half hour, got knocked out, and spent four hours coming back. <laughs> oh, that's tough. <laughs> that is horrible. That seven. Is. Said he's had enough at Denmark. Raised 7,000 total. <laughs> That was Ian Fraser from the button, 7,000 with the ace king. And uh, Eddie London in the tank here. Oh, he's looking for a re raise here. Re raise to 21,000 total. He's in trouble. He is in trouble. He's thinking that Ian's being aggressive on the button. Pass. I think there could be a re raise here from Ian. 14 to call. Oh, king Queen is severely dominated. And Fraser is one of those guys who has the bottle to push here. Yeah, I think Fraser will, uh, he could go as, uh, as, as big as going all in here, Jesse. I mean, does he have to worry that Eddie London could have kings or aces? Or is that just too unlucky to think about? That's just too unlucky to think about. I think Ian Fraser's style, he can't just flat call him. He's got to come over the top of him. I may be wrong. Eddie London is really out on the arm oh. here. Oh, yeah, it's just flat called him. Uh, they're going to peek at the flop. And I'll tell you what, if it comes all rags, uh, Fraser could be bet off this. Mm -hmm. If it comes a king, we could see fireworks. If it comes a king, it's all over. That's oh. no help to either player. Has London got the bottle now? He's got to go through with it. He's re-raised a raise. Yeah, if he shows weakness, he's dead. Oh, that's gutsy. Wow. That's gutsy. 30,000. I'll tell you what, if Ian Fraser <laughs> comes over the top of here and goes all in, it will be the best move he'll ever make. But he can't. Yes. He's representing an over pair, isn't he? Internet qualifier Eddie London is taking these pros to task. <laughs> I don't know what he put on his Wheaties this morning, but Tom, it's your work. Without doubt, this is the biggest game I've played in and I pretty much know all of the players from seeing them on TV, so it, for me it's, it's uh, a great adventure to be playing with them tonight. I'm hoping to play a solid game and obviously ask the blinds go up to, to step up a gear or two. And the main thing is uh, to enjoy myself. Pass. What was that all about? Must be a tell. Robin Keston, ace Raised eight suited. Seven thousand total. Pass. Three and a half times the big blind, and uh, Eddie will put his suit back on and fold up shop. Will be five thousand on Cole cloth. That's a pretty big hand. Cole. And uh, he's looking to peel off a flop here. Yeah. Colclaw's the kind of guy who doesn't mind getting deep in a hand because he, he always knows where he is. He always knows where he is. That's the scary thing. <laughs> I'll tell you wow. what. <laughs> he better find out where oh, he is pretty quick. Dear. <laughs>
Robin Kessin has outflopped him and then so. Big time. <laughs> that is incredible. 7,000. And, uh, this is a test of where Colcloth keeps his escape hatch. Close. What is he thinking? What's going through his mind? Well, Colcloth and Keston are two players who have played a lot Pass. together. What a lay down. What a great lay down. And he shows the ace. <laughs> so I was thinking, okay, maybe you had ace 10. Yeah, I got unlucky. You, you hit your three outer. But little did he know, he had true votes. A little bit of dipsy doodle dancing, but it's Eddie London who's made the play of the game so far, and he deserves to be in front. He does deserve to be in front. That was a great play against Ian Price as uh, Ace King and Eddie London and King Queen. Well played. Two thousand to call. Pass. More if you like it. And uh, pass. Pass. Around to the button now. Now, small blind, big blind. Cool. Is Fraser the type that says no free cards, no free flops? No, he's no not. <laughs> Fraser's the type who likes to see flops. <coughs> Top pair for Robin. A lovely inside straight draw, though, for uh, Ian. Yeah, seven would suit him nicely. 3,000. 3,000, that won't scare him. I'm sure he'll call to see, uh, see if he can hit a seven. Call. This is what you call uh, implied odds. Yeah. If I hit the seven, mm -hmm. it's going to take a lot of chips. And uh, actually, third diamond on board now. It's given Fraser a flush draw to go along with his straight draw. Two pair for Robin. Oh, you're right. Kay. Oh, it's giving him a free card. 6,000. Now, was it a trap check? Quite possibly, yeah. Or was he thinking that Ian Fraser's drawing to a flush? Call. Robin has just called, and Ian's got plenty of outs. Any diamond, any seven, anything else, and Keston will have the best of it. River comes. Ooh. Oh. And this is a bit unlucky for Robin. Yeah, very unlucky for Robin. The top two pair, and he gets outdrawn cruelly. Robin had an Check. accident earlier with a plate of chili. And uh, I do believe Fraser's put egg on his face here. I think Fraser will just check in. And, uh, he, he can only l lose to a bigger hand, so he might as well just check in and um, take the pot down now. So Ian's asked 20. for a pot count. 22. I'll bet six. Oh, that's, that's just an annoying bet, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and Robin might just call it. He's picked that perfect size where he can get paid off with two pair. <laughs> yeah, go on, says Robin. Yeah, go on. Let me just see what you've got. I'm intrigued. He's starting to get sick about how he played his hand, and he's going to feel terrible when he sees Ian's hand. I'm getting a bit of a reputation for putting big hands down. Only 6,000. Yeah, it's too cheap. Pass. If you bet the whole lot. If I bet the lot you call. Yeah. <laughs> All in. <laughs> show one. Just show one card. It's a nice fold there. <laughs> yeah, not, not, fold. I don't Robin want to even show one. not want to waste okay. chips. Well, obviously both diamonds. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, you've got six grand. Yeah. Keston okay. does have a reputation for being able to lay big hands down. And... Uh, he uh, does not like to waste chips. You know, he's usually known as a high-stakes cash game Omaha player, mm. but uh, he started to play more Hold'em tournaments, and he's had a bit of success. He's been unlucky, hasn't he? You know, we've only, we've only played 17 hands, and he's been very unlucky. He's had his ace is very scary flop and a turn come down, and all of a sudden he had top two pair there and was outdrawn for a flush, so he's not getting the rub of the oh. green at the moment. <coughs> Limpin from Houston. Raised to 10,000 total. Basically Pass. zero. And uh, Cole Cloth says limpers tax in order here. Pass. And, um, Pass. It'll be 8,000 more on John. Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> it 
it's very tough to put, to put Cole Cloth on a hand that 7 6 can beat. Yes. And they, they know each other's games <laughs> very well. I don't think Dave wants to call here because uh, he knows Johnny plays on anything. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not, it's not oh, that, that tough to figure out. He said, why would you do that? The, the first guess would be because he has a raising hand. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's just doing a little bit of a wind up here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's going to see a flop. Cool. Wow. John Houston has come to play. And if he hits his pair, he might put the pain to coal cloth. Well, that's a razor's flop, isn't it? Four spades for the blondie. Mm. Guy, he really Ten puts thousand. people to a decision, doesn't he? That's why he's able to play those kind of hands, yeah. isn't it? But I do not think. Oh, oh he's just called. I, was say, I do not think coal cloth's going to fall for it. But uh, he's looking for the spade. Does he believe that Houston might have an ace? And the king is good right now. The king Check. kicker. Checked. Houston's drawing live to a six or seven. That's a good card for El Blondie. Fifteen. He'll get a call here from Dave. Definitely. He's he's not spending much time thinking about it. Will he will he stop to reconsider? No. Call. no. Automatic call, he says. Call. And uh Dave will wait for John Houston to show them. They're not pretty. Oh, no. <laughs> they are not pretty at all. And uh, yeah, Cole Cloth really just got gifted yeah. a whole bunch of chips. Yeah, he did. Uh, Johnny played the price there for playing a trash hand. Know. He wanted to see a flop. Uh, went for the bluff. That was a good call on But uh, very difficult to bluff Dave Cole, Dave Cole Cloth. It really is. Mm, spades, though, weren't they? Welcome back to the PartyPoker.com European Open. Jesse May here, joined by Michael Greco. Raised to 4,000. Not what you made the speech, no. Pass. <coughs> and uh, 4,000, so just to double the bet to from El Blondie. Big hand here for Robin, ace-queen suited. Call. Just call it. Yeah, is that some big hands already? Wow. That's even bigger. Even bigger. Raise. Raise. And there's no way that Ian is going to let these guys 15, come in too tasty. cheap. Although he's Pass. he's uh, making it a little bit attractive. Pass. Eleven thousand more. Pass. I think Robin's just going to flat call here. Surely he can't lay this hand down. It's definitely worth seeing the flop, Jesse, isn't it? <laughs> No, I don't know. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, there's one thing about Robin. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. The one thing about Robin Bunch Kirsten is yeah. he is willing to lay down anything before the flop as long as he's not too involved. Uh, I think there is a very famous hand from the first televised million pound tournament on the Isle of Man when Robin Keston laid down two kings before the flop okay. uh, in the very later stages and uh, Hello. Hello. took a little bit of ribbing for it. So the blinds are just about to go up. Let's take a look at how the blinds work in Texas Hold'em. Every poker hand begins with the placing of the button and the posting of the blinds. The button is a disc that represents the nominal dealer. The blinds are forced bets to get the action started. The player to the left of the button puts in the small blind. The player on his left puts in the big blind, usually double the small. Action for this first round of betting will move to the left of the big blind. The button moves to the left with each hand, and the blinds are raised throughout the game to keep exactly. the action going. They've got that in the States, so they do have, they bring in on that celebrity tournament. Robin Kesson's the, the only one that hasn't had the run on the cards. He's been very unlucky, but like no, that. I mean, <laughs> no one's in dire straits. <laughs> This could go anywhere, it really could. Pass your cards without anybody seeing them. Call. The same hand as he was re-raised with Ace Queen of Clubs. Pass. 
Well, I think we've learned he's definitely nice. willing to pull <coughs> <laughs> Surely it can't fold him again if he gets a re raise. Flop for free. There's 12,000 in the kitty. Houston on the 10 8. And uh, that's no help to the ace queen. It's uh, given Dave Colclough a top pair. Mm. Check. Check. Yes, it has. 7,000. And uh, we saw Colcloth make a fantastic read on Robin Pass. earlier. Will he respect? Will he raise? I think it was just cool. Cool. Keston looking for the bullet. Club wouldn't hurt either. Check. It's given him a couple extra outs. Mm -hmm. Ten for a straight, ace for the win. Robin's a little bit wary because he thinks, okay, Dave's called my bet. He must have a king. There's no way Dave's going to put his money without a king unless he's got an up and down straight draw. Yeah, check. check. That's very wise. I'll take the free card, says Bingo. And oh, Bingo. <laughs> yeah, B-I-N-G-O. That's the one. And uh, any mm. money Dave puts in here, he's not going to get 7, back. 7,000. Robin Keston has the stone cold nuts. Best hand possible. There's a bit of acting going on here now. So how do I get more money out of you, Dave? Do I, do I just the minimum raise? Raise. Probably maybe ten thousand. Do you think? Ten thousand. Yeah, it's a, it's a fair point. It's it's not going to be too much, is it? Twenty more. He really wants a call. It's a very clever bet, twenty. It, it's it's um. It's not one of those bets that you're dying for a caller, is it? 20,000. Dave's got top pair. I can't see Dave calling this, can you? I, you, you mentioned before how good Colcloth was at putting people on hands. Well, let's see if he can figure this out. It ain't <laughs> easy. He's been very unlucky, Dave. Twice he's been rivered by the, the two nut runs. Twice they've outdrawn him on the river. Big moment for Cole Cloth here. 20,000 will really damage his stack. He's got to think, okay, Robin, you bet the flop, right? And I flat called. You then checked the turn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> he figured it out. And, yeah. And uh, Keston, happy to make that straight. Wishes he could have gotten paid off a little bit more, but good pot anyway for yep. Robin. I think if you'd have stuck in ten thousand, I think he might have got a cooler. Twenty thousand was just a little bit too much. I think ten thousand. Dave was getting six to one his money. Five or five to one his money. He might have called it. It's so hard to fold and make those folds. You know, you're sitting in that seat, you just want to see the cards, don't mm. you? <coughs> but, uh, yeah. And then when you do see the cards, you go, why did I call? Why? Uh, <laughs> King seven, right? Yeah. King seven. <laughs> just tell me you didn't have two tens. <laughs> That'd be well miffed if you had two tens. <laughs> Limpin, two ducks for Robin Pass. Keston. Pass. Raise. Raise. Ooh. 14,000 total. This is interesting. And wow. Now it's very interesting. Call. A call cloth probably made that raise to isolate Keston, but Barry He's Hearn. In. Maybe. Yeah? Is Possible. in. And dominating Cole Cloth Check in the big blind. Yeah. Do you think Keston now thinks, okay, there's quite a lot of money in it. I'm actually it getting depends. good value. Hmm? It depends if I let you in with a ten. Well, <clears throat> I do believe it's ten thousand more on Robin. Uh, Pass. Pass. Doesn't want to chance it, but uh, if a coin comes on the flop here, Jesse, we could see all guns blazing. You have to believe the warning bells have gone off in Oblondi's head. Oh, wow. Dang. He's in dire straits. Two pair for Baza. And second pair 
for Dave. 10,000. You put on a nice grimace there, Barry. Cole. And he's got oh. Dave Colecloth in. The king's no good for Colecloth. No. He needs the 10 for the straight. That's right. The king could slow them both down. A, a, a queen would pretty much be the Check. end of Dave. Barry's just fearful that Dave's he's got the straight already, that he's hit the nut straight, I think. Check. Or he's even hit trip, trip <coughs> back, something like that. Yeah, no one seems too confident. This pot's very big, you know. Well, it's not going to help any of them. Check. 15,000. Boy, Dave's being put to some tough decisions here. He is already. He's really not having the rub of the green, is he? And Baza has played this hand very cagey. You almost feel like he deserves a payoff here. He oh, gets he's getting it. paid off. He's getting paid off. And Barry Hearn had the stoppers there. Two pair. And uh, I think it was the check on the turn that got the payoff on the river. Yeah. And uh, really, Dave Colcloth in dire straits looking at that once again. When the flop came, they both had something, but Hearn had more. Straight draw for Colcloth. Didn't hit. And then has a sunk his teeth in. There's a room full of betting going on. Three places left at the final table, and this is proper poker. Smiles, laughs, but most of all, cards and chips, re-raises. I'll tell you what, there'll be a whole lot of action before this one's through. It's down to, down to the nitty gritty. It's down to the serious stuff. Yeah, it's uh, funny about a poker game. Uh, you can laugh as loud, as long and as loud as you want, but at the end of the day, you're going to have to play some cards, and that's a serious business. Pass. 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 London for the button. And he has not been caught out. Yet. Raised 10,000 total. Call. Cool. I think we could see an all in all in here from uh, Dave Colcloth if he gets a hand look. Pair of fives. Interesting. Could be an all in. All in. Yep. Mm -hmm. all wow. In. There's money out there to be won, and uh, Colcloth might have a read because uh, <coughs> he might be able to take this pot without having to see a flop. I don't know. I think Johnny could call him. Call him for another 20, I think Johnny will call him. I think Eddie's going to pass, but I do think that Johnny's calling him. 27,000, too expensive for London. But, uh, yeah, cool. John Houston yeah. not scared to try and take out one player. That'll bring them ever closer to the final table. And uh, this pot's 57,000. Yeah, this is double or nothing for Dave. He knows that. He needed to double up. He's not going to get to the semifinal with a short stack. Excuse me, this pot's 84,000. This would put Cole Cloth right back in it. But he has to get his fives to survive. Well, Eddie London's past the jacks. There's one out for Johnny. There's, oh, the, there's ace. the ace. He's got the jacks cut. He's got the uh, spades covered as well as Johnny. So he, there's only two cards in the whole deck that can help him now. No! Oh, there's the five. <laughs> Oh my. Absolutely <laughs> incredible. You couldn't believe it. <laughs> incredible. I'll tell you what. I, I believe Houston's drawing dead now. Yep. He is. And <coughs> you know what? Uh, Dave Colcloth may not oh, leave this room. Way. He may bring in his bed, bring in a laptop, and wow. just play poker from here forever because this has been his Cinderella story room. This is his castle. Unbelievable. He can't be finished off here. Incredible. Two cards in the whole pack to beat him. Bang, there it was on the turn. Johnny must be feeling a little bit sick inside. How are you, Dave? Sorry. He's back in it now, Dave. He's dangerous again. Yeah. Just give me the wink when it's right to me. That fist pump said it all. Colclough on the flop. He could have hit the door. He could have gone outside. He could have gone home. But the five on the turn and three fives have doubled him up. And, uh, like a cockroach. He just keeps coming back to life. Incredible. You know, two cards in the hole of the 52 deck cards. Two cards to help him. Two. And he's hit one of them. 
you talked about momentum. I yeah. mean, Colcloth went from having no body language at all to being a smile and wise guy. Oh, he knows how lucky he was <laughs> there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I, I, think, I think this is the beginning of something Pass. here for Dave Colcloth. He seems Pass. like a man destined. Yeah, you're right. He was destined in the heat, wasn't he? And it looks like he could be destined in the semi-final as well. I feel sorry, sorry for Johnny. He did nothing wrong there. Pass. Yeah, John. Felt very unlucky. Yeah, and, uh, and that really must have hurt Houston. I mean, as, you're, as you say, he made a very good call there. Cool. Just got out drawn. Well, Johnny's raised with ace three and Barry's called with ace deuce. Normally, most of the time, we'll see a split pot here. Oh, no. Well, there's a one pair for Johnny. Baz is coming out betting. 20,000. Well, he used this play on John Houston last time. And do you think he's taking advantage of the fact that Houston's mind may have gone a little bit mushy from the last hand? Yeah, quite possibly. If that nine of clubs was a nine of spades, I think you'd see an all-in here from Johnny, because he'd have the nut flush draw. As it is, he could be in big trouble. Barry's representing the top pair, at least. Barry's put a big question to him. Basically, Houston has to move all in here if yeah. all doesn't he? Yeah, he's not going to just flat call, I don't think. I don't think that's Johnny's style. He, his aggressive style is he'll, go, he'll move all in, and he'll take it. He'll take the part there and then. He's putting his entire tournament on the line here if he goes all in. Mm -hmm. But those are the questions you get asked at these semi-final tables. You got some of that, bud. Trying to figure out from Barry whether he's uh, he's winning or not. It's a raggedy flop. There aren't any high cards there. Johnny could think that his pair of threes is winning. Such a tough place to be. And he's still reeling a little bit from the last pot, isn't he? Mm-hmm. He's trying to figure out, have you got two high cards? You didn't re-raise me pre-flop, so you haven't got an over pair. You haven't got tens, jacks, queens, kings, aces. He could oh, be put, oh, he's pass. put down the best hand. He's passed. One of them as well, mate. One of them. Oh, oh and then he showed the <laughs> bluff. The dagger in the heart, he showed John he was bluffing. Let's wind that back to the back of the glass. Oh, Barry. Oh, Barry. Oh, Barry. Oh, Barry. Oh, Barry. That was harsh. <laughs> 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 the last hand at this level. That was run me <laughs> over, put it in the verse, and run me over again. Change the dealer. My name's Barry Hearn. I was born in Dagenham in Essex. They call me the governor. Useful performer at the moment. Four of the last five televised events I've made the final table. Tonight could be five out of six. All I ask my opponents, be gentle with me. I'm not such a bad fella. And honestly, it's not so bad to be beaten by me, I'm sure. That's a real hand. Cool. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Is this deja vu? Uh, yes. <laughs> Robin has got aces again on the button. <laughs> and, and it's incredible how Barry's just limped in with his king queen. Gaston has had his fair share of hands so far this evening. But, uh, obviously, he's going to raise the question is how much. He's well aware nice. of what happened last time. Mm -hmm. Barry bluffed him out. 14,000 more. Same Katie position, Tanker. same hand. Well, Ian Fraser's got the same as Barry home. Oh. Now, is he going to make a move here and go all in? He can't just flat call. He hasn't got the chips. Uh, he's in all or nothing territory. Yeah, he knows it. He knows there's no point in just flat calling him. Because if he misses the flop, then he's, he hasn't got many chips left. So I think he's thinking, right, do I make my last stand now? Do I really want to stick him in? I personally think he knows he's losing. He must think he's losing at least to an ace. He could make it 35,000 more. It'll be suicidal. Yeah. Well, little does he know it'll be suicidal. To us, it's suicidal. To him, it could be a great play to get Robin off his hand. Yeah, I mean, and uh, one thing he will be aware of is Keston is capable of laying down just about any hand. <laughs> little does he know Robin's got the bullets. Well, 
as that song goes, it's now or never, I think, with Ian. He's really, really tempted to stick them all in, isn't he? And Robin is oh, praying yeah, he's sticking them all in. Look at you looking at me, Will. He's just testing. He's trying to gauge Robin's reaction. And look at Robin's gaze. It's fixed on Ian's chips. He wants to turn away, but he can't. It's like watching a car crash. Well, he's just flat cool, Jesse. <laughs> he said 14 more. Yeah, but that's 20 total. That's Ian, the big got line. Sorry. Right. All right. How much more? It's another three, love. It's good. Tell you, Ian wasted Pass. so much time with that decision. I think in the end he did the one thing he, he didn't want to do, yeah. which was call. That's right. And I think he's going to get a call from Barry as well, King Queen suited. Oh, Bazza must feel like he's got value now. Robin's thinking, I've got two callers here. What am I up against? If there are two high cards come on the flop, Robin's got to think he could be losing here. This is just about the biggest pot of the evening so far, yep. and Robin with the aces. If it comes the case two kings... Oh, it's, came, it's come the ace as well. That's <laughs> going to save Ian, and it's going to yeah. save Barry. <laughs> it's going to save them both, isn't it? Check. I think Robin will just check this. Slow and, uh, play the absolute nuts. This is the face of a happy man. Mm -hmm. Check. <laughs> so happy he checks. You know what? That's a great check, isn't it? Great Michael? check. Of course it is. <laughs> Ace is full. Ace is full. He's just waiting for someone to step in it. You know, he's not going to get any action from Barry or Ian okay. unless they go for a complete bluff because neither of them have an ace and they're wary that one of the other two might have an ace. He could check again. I think he has to. Yep. All check. He knows he can't lose. He knows that. Oh, he is a bear trapper, this Keston. No. He's not going to get paid off. Unless someone makes a move. Yeah, I think Barry could make a move here. He's looking at his chips. Check. No, he's checked. <laughs> Robin has given everyone every chance to catch up. And, uh, well, he won't want to bet too much. No. He loves getting paid off. 16,000. Pass. 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 Yeah, unfortunate for Robin, no, they didn't have anything. The new blinds, I promised everything on five or ten thousand. We'll change the dealer. Surprised by Ian there, just flat calling. So I thought he really only had two options to fold or to go all in, but so. Uh, so Keston takes the pot on the river. He had the nuts from the word go. And uh, look at this pie, yeah. Uh, Ian Fraser in trouble, but uh, between the others, there's all to play for. Well, the power turn is in Arms spreading round. If I'm not mistaken, the blinds have gone up five and ten thousand. This is Skylerville. This is unheard of. Six players. We haven't lost one player, and the blinds are now five ten. Ian Fraser, I'm afraid, is in desperate trouble. He has one move. And that's Pass. all in. And I think... Raise. Oh, Barry's got a, a very nice hand. Well, even Barry Hearn, who's um, the most yeah, comfortable on board, is thank you. Okay, not in magnificent Spencer shape. Temple. I think Ian only has one move. He needs to pick up a hand. I think that's a sign. <laughs> Raise with the ace-queen and... Pass. Catch Pass. nothing at all. Oh! Ace King, here he goes. All in. <laughs> this could keep the game going. Wow. <laughs> if any time he needed to have a hand, it was now. Pass. Another nine. Another nine. Well, this was this. This is a nice pot, you know, because he's got Barry's chips, he's got the small blinds chips, and the big blinds chips. Yeah. If uh, if Fraser can make this Ace King hold up, it will severely level this playing field, and all he has to do is avoid the Queen for five more cards. Well, Johnny Houston has uh, folded a king. So there's three cards in the deck for... Oh, there you go. Well, just not Ian Fraser's day. No, it's not, is, is it? the call. Although... A ten. Or a king. Exactly. Any ten, any king to keep Ian Fraser in this tournament or else he's going to have to settle for five grand. 
Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and not a flinch. <laughs> Nearly had me out. Oh, that's a quick one. Well, the, the incredible thing is well, now what I've this looks like now a with the blinds at 5 and 10,000. Nobody can be secure in their <laughs> chip stack. It's just danger and peril all over. Yeah. I mean, Barry Hearn's the chip leader with 145,000. That's only about nine rounds of the table. It's it's nothing. It's nothing. It's all to play for. Again, you know, we should have lost Dave Colclough. We should have lost Ian Fraser. Ian Fraser had the best hand with his ace king. Barry Hearn had ace queen, hits the queen. Ian Fraser has three outs, and bang, there's the river. Hits the king. There's five pirates out there who all have their eyes on Fraser's big blind money. Pass. Oh, Raise. Raise. John Houston, he's always on the steal. Not this time. Not this time. He does have a hand. He hadn't got you in. Oh. Doesn't happen very often, but he's got a hand. It's, it's the danger. It's the danger Raise of John Houston. Total. It's a turn that comes Pass. To Pass. Pass. Gets people to make mistakes because he raises so often and yeah. ooh. Is that tempting for Ian mm -hmm. to come over the top? It's <coughs> not my thing, is it? Ian has seemed a bit impatient today. Johnny thinking if you come over the top of me there's going to be an all in if you go all in I will call you as quick as a fish <laughs> well I think you're right you know Fraser and Houston have played a lot of poker together and uh, Fraser claims to have a pretty good read on Houston I wish he was a bit nearer around this way no I got me can I walk around some time well let's go out and see go get my coffee go get my coffee I just want to go around and just close the Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> he wishes he was near. It's the wrong channel for this stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't make up his mind. I'd rather have had Queen than him. Yeah, he said he'd rather have Queen 9. He's, he's scared. That if Houston does have an ace, which is the case, then he's drawing a lot slimmer than if he just had two live cards. Yeah. And uh, it's a good decision. It's a great decision, yeah. I mean, <laughs> we've seen a lot of good decisions tonight, but that's what we've come to expect because this is the semis. These guys have all been winners here already. And uh, this is what happens when champions get together. The no, game no. is just taken to a whole other level. Nine, I've got a chance. I'll face it. Round and round she goes. Where she'll stop, nobody knows. <laughs> what the adrenaline Pass. level in that room must just be off the charts. Yep. One hand, Pass. one mistake, one Pass. dip over the line. Pass. Also, no one wants to go out first more than anything. Well, sure, there's 2,500 every place, aren't there? Exactly. And then the big money in the top three. Cool. A6 for yes. Robin. And uh, did he bite the bullet? Quite, no. Yeah, strange play from Robin. Ray should have been in order. He could be easily outflopped. But he could easily get in trouble here. He's let Fraser pick up a flush draw. Yeah, very nice hand here for Ian. If a heart does come on the Check. turn, Robin's got the nut Check. flush draw, so a heart would be very interesting on this card. It's gone. Check. Check. There it is. He's got a straight flush draw as Ian. <laughs> And Robin's got the nut flush draw. Can you imagine if a seven of hearts or two of hearts comes on the... Well, I, I think it's all going in. Yeah. Robin's got kings and sixes with the nut flush draw. Fraser has the flush. He'll go all in here. They, they, they can't back away from each other. He's got to go all in. He cannot afford to see another heart on there. He's got to take Robin off the hand. I don't, I don't think Robin can fold. I think the only bet is to go all in, Ian. 
if he just does a minimum raise or, or a raise, I think Robin's going to call. It's too dangerous. He's already made the flush. I'll tell you what, if you sit in a jar of brine, you're going to end up a pickle. And uh, Robin Keston has gotten himself in the thick of it here. All in. Yep, All that's in. the move. That's the move. Not seen. Michael. Cool. Yeah, Keston has outs. He's no called. Hearts, he's not all in. It's Fraser all in, and basically, it's any heart that's not the deuce or seven, a six or a king, uh, for Keston. And Fraser has all the rest of the deck. Yeah, you can only win with a heart, Keston. Any heart that's not a two or a seven, a king or a six. You're right, Jesse. Here's the river. No. Jack of spades, and Keston is not out, but he is low. He is crippled. He is. Well, he's, he's just been devastated. And look what it's cost him. It's incredible. You know, Robin had a six. Fraser had four five of hearts. And the flops come two hearts. He's hit his flush on the turn. And as I said, Keston is going to call him because he's got the nice flush draw. Yeah, the turn card was just a witch's brew. One card in the deck that probably could have gotten all those <coughs> chips in. And Fraser okay. has gone from, I think it, it was just a few hands ago, we were talking about Ian Fraser being that. desperate. <laughs> he was down to four cards in the deck yep. to be out, and now he's the chip leader. Exactly. How fortunes have changed. <laughs>
That's really changed nothing. Not Kicker plays no matter what. London running for the seven, the ten. Here's the river. Nope. Ace king holds. And uh, that is, I believe, Dave Colcloth has just set a new record. He survived 29 all-ins in the same tournament. Wow. <laughs> wow. The last heat was probably one of the most, uh, well, emotional roller coasters I've ever had in poker. And I've been playing for 20 years, and I don't think I've ever been through as many ups and downs as the last heat put me through. Uh, tonight with the semi-final, uh, I probably won't be uh, playing too fast. Uh, uh, all, all I really want to do is qualify for the final, so I won't be taking too many chances. Do you think I, do you think I care anyway? I tell you what's good for the, <laughs> I really wouldn't mind You've got too two much anyway. very short stacks now, Jesse, and mm, that is going to be lucky. great for the other four players. Because sooner or later we will probably da be down to four players. My God, there's some big hands out. Oh. And, uh, Pass. Now Fraser feels like he's Pass. got enough chips to really get Hold. chippy, just limping in with the kings. And uh, Colcloth has limped in as well. Yeah, this that one, yeah. this is dangerous. Oh, is Barry starting to make a move here? Huh? Cool. Oh, cool. Now, any option? I've got five grand here. Will that be? Will that somebody else be able to raise? Uh, no. Not more than fifty percent. It is fifty percent. It's not more than fifty percent. Mm. Has to be double anyhow. He's got to raise another ten thousand to allow a more rate. Casting with a chance to quadruple up. Well, and he's not uh, been outflopped. I think Check. everybody's completely missed. See, the strategy is to wait for the flop and then bet it. You see, and then then, then, then you will pass. That's yeah. right. That's what happens. Check. Check. Twenty thousand. Pass. I don't think anyone's pass. calling. The question is, what is Robin Keston <laughs> going to do? Pass. 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 <laughs> you can't blame him. <laughs> he can't blame him, can he? <laughs> no. He doesn't even have a draw. <laughs> 5,000. He's two really two. clinging on, isn't he? Yeah. Probably save your Never in the history of okay, poker have has a one table six-handed gone this deep with all players remaining. But, uh, Michael, it's really just technical now because... I think we're going to lose a player this first hand, Race. seven and 15,000. Yep. Barring a miracle, pass, pass. we should see the end of uh, Robin here. Robin all in on the small blind for 5,000. And John Houston has offered him protection mm. by raising to 30,000. It's up to Ian Fraser in the big blind. Pass. And uh, we've got an all in situation. Okay, that's going to be your change from the 15 blind. I'm going to take five. That's it, Robin can win 15. We have 15. Yeah, well, with this hand, it's tricky. That's your change, Dan. <laughs> so Houston <laughs> wins the side pot good. and all in. And unfortunately for Robin Keston, it's even worse. He's, he's not even got two live cards, no, is he? No, he's dominated. Queen eight versus queen king. <laughs> Ever he needs an eight to hit the flop. No, it's now. Eddie London's not rooting for Robin here. No. There's the queen. They've both hit it. But the eight's still the key card. Ian Fraser passed an eight as well, so there are only two cards in the whole deck to uh, to help out Robin. Otherwise, we're down to five. That's not it. One card to come. The hair is running. No. Nope. And we have lost Robin Keston out in sixth position. He'll take 5,000 oh, for his troubles, seven. but uh, the disaster oh, hand seven. really. We'll with that uh, nut flush draw, and uh, we're down to five. Well, Robin Keston had nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. All in, in the small blind, and dominated. King Kicker always played with the pair of queens, and that is the end of the story. Well, Robin, a whole rash of hands, but really the killer, you ran into that flush when you had the nut flush draw. Mm, all the hands were just too early. There were never enough chips in the, in the pots that I had the hands to ever make anything big with them. And then uh, the last hand, I just didn't really want to go into um, the last stages of the tournament with no chips. So I wanted to have big chips on, be out. So no difference between coming fourth, fifth or sixth, really. But the danger, man, is uh, Eddie London. He's got nothing to lose. If he sticks all his chips Pass. in, if someone calls, it gets Pass. doubled up, and then they're in danger. Come on, he squeeze these cards. Squeeze those cards. <laughs> oh, Ooh, I think he could get a call oh, here. He very well might. He very well might. But does he want to risk it though, oh, Jesse? Trouble, really. Does he want to risk? 
Come on, baby. 100,000 of his stack. He looked at the ace first. I don't think he's not going to call. Even though it's a very good hand, he's not going to call. I don't think he is either. How much is it? No. 98,000 total. Does he really want to risk a third, well, more than a third of his stack? Just under half of his stack. Let it go in. You know, it makes sense. I, I don't think he does want to call. No, he doesn't. He's not going to call. Even if he knows he has, even if Barry showed him his cards, yeah. he might not want to risk it. Exactly. Exactly. Well, he might. <laughs> well, I don't know. You know, he's got two live cards. He could easily get outdrawn. I'd love if, you, Cooper. If he gets outdrawn, choice, he's back not down. Me. He's sucked into hell. Don't get involved, Ian. There's no point. Just let him take the 15,000 and walk away. Ace king, ace queen, maybe, yeah, but not ace eight. You know, you could be out kicked. Oh, that's a match. And, uh, oh, yes, Baldy. Shows the ace. And I'll tell you what, uh, <laughs> it shows That's a little bit about the intentions of Barry Hurry. Oh, he uh, wants to go to that I final really Michael, but he me. does not yeah. want to be there short <laughs> stack. Right. Uh, and uh, <laughs> there's one man who's not scared of risking it all in order to give himself a chance to win that top prize, the top glory of 125,000. Show me the door if you have to, to but don't break uh, that final bad. table with no chips. Sometimes you've got to fold the best table just to, just to survive. I, th I, I, don't think, I, I think Ian Fraser is he's in the driver's seat as long as he gets his chips in first. Why, you know, why risk not being in the driver's seat and being in the passenger seat on the turn of five cars? There's no point. That's what it seems like. Pass. 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 And uh, Ian, it's a pretty good hand. He's just oh. called. That's interesting. Okay. Well, London will love yeah. to take a free flop here. Mm. Gives him two chances, here or now. Well, mm. I think that's it for Eddie London. And I think it's all in for me. And Unless he tries to trap. Yeah, Ian's got the best hand. He's got the top pair with a king kicker. 25,000. Yeah, he can't call this. Pass. And uh, Fraser just gets back on the horse. This is this is what he can continue to do as long as he doesn't do anything silly or get outdrawn. If he'd have had less there. <laughs> Cold cloth's given a lot of free advice lately. It's not getting much in the way of hands. Pass. 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 And uh, that's the move. Yeah, he's got half a hand this time. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think Johnny's got anything. No? Total. Oh, he's given Houston fits and starts. And John's wishing he had called with that King 7 now. 3 4 looks pretty silly. You know what? It could come back to bite him. Well, if you play fearful, sooner or later. 27. Game's on you. 27,000. Well, does Johnny think he's priced in here? He's getting two to one his money, but he's got such bad cards. So, this would take him up to 54,000 chips, yeah? If he wins the hand, yeah? If he wins, if he call. Yeah. If you call in total and he wins the hand, it's going to make him 8 to 4. If you just give that in. Houston's trying to figure out what's the worst case scenario, what's the best <coughs> case scenario. What if I fold? How much is he going to have? What if I call and lose? How much is he going to have? And what if I call and win? Well, he knows the answer to that. Mm -hmm. He would love to knock him out, obviously, but uh, not with that hand, Johnny. You know it makes sense. <laughs> even, if, even if he thinks he's priced in, there's, there's no point uh, giving him more ammunition. 
No, he can't call. Don't worry. He's apologising to the table. <laughs> Play your own cards, man. There's 125,000 at stake. And uh, Eddie London is not that far now from the... Uh, the other three. <laughs> uh, in fact, a double through now, and, and uh, London will be, uh, he'll be chipped up, really. Trying to double the 20 to 40 on the previous King 7. <coughs> he was ahead then. What are you saying? That he always... No, no, I'm sure you're, you're winning with the King 7. Barry Hearn first to speak, 15,000, he's out. Ian's Pass. out. London's Pass. out, and Houston, surely he's all in there. <coughs> raise. 32,000 total. Just a little raise. Yep, yeah, that should take it down, definitely with that. Hmm. That's interesting, says Dave. It's not a big rate. Wow. Well, he's not thinking of calling. I think he's thinking about putting Johnny all in. Oh, I was oh. wrong. He's called. If it comes a four, it'll be a disaster. But uh, if it comes a five, Johnny's got very unlucky. What if it just comes over cards? Well, split pot possibilities. Check. It's not a great flop for Johnny, that, is it? Is he trapping? Bed checked. He's dying to see a four here. Flash draw. For El Blondie. Check. I think if he moves now, he may have the pot. He may take it if he goes all in. If he makes a bet, he may take it. Oh. 35,000. <laughs> this is so suspenseful. What? And this, this is really means everything for John Houston. Mm -hmm. He's ahead, but the seven would beat him. The queen would beat him. The king would beat him. He can beat a bluff. And if Cole Cloth does have the what seven. You, you ask me, Dave. It's a flop. It's a, it's a, I have to say, it's a great bet from Dave. It really <laughs> it is. It surely is. It's a horrible flop for Johnny. <laughs> Well, I think that Houston's stomach has just gotten tied in a series of knots. Johnny's thinking, are you slow playing a huge hand? Pre-flop and flop. And all of a sudden you've come out betting. I mean, uh, this would have been the argument for Houston going all in before the flop. He could have saved himself a whole lot of hassle. Yeah, uh, it, the, the bet wasn't big enough, was it, pre-flop to get rid of Dave? I think an all-in bet pre-flop would have done it. God, if he can make this call, it <coughs> be masterful. But Cole Cloth will still be drawn live. In fact, he'll be drawn very live. A king or seven would split the pot. A spade would win it. A five would win it. Johnny's wife and his son are backstage. They would be shouting, go all-in. Well, he's laid down the best hand. <coughs> he showed it! He's shown it as well. But, uh, I mean, I think that once Houston well, has checked that turn, really, he's think. given up the pot, yeah, hasn't he? Exactly. He could not yeah, really call that. Yeah. I know, I, you know, I have another minute you're to call me. Oh, of course, yeah. I need to, once you change that 30 seconds, I'm under the pressure. Then I, I know you're going to flush through. I know exactly you're going to flush through. Because of the way you... you just... And uh, talk about all to play for. Now John Houston, who had looked like he was in such good shape, is only a pip in front of London. Those two are bubbling. Seven and fifteen, and the beat goes on. It's a horror show. It's a thriller. Here comes Eddie London. Will he get called? It's thirty-five thousand. Colcloth. I think he'll call him. Colcloth will call him. He can well afford it. Counted out. He has Fold. called. He's got the better hand, right? Ooh. Oh, Barry's Pass. got a better hand, and he folds. Well, he'll definitely let Colcloth do the dirty work, and uh, 
Eddie London's drawing quite live now, because Pass. one of okay, Dave's aces are dead. It's London all in, but with a chance to double up. Ace eight versus King Jack. Not in bad shape, is he, really? No, he's not. Good luck. Especially as Barry's uh, passed one of Dave's aces. Are you surprised Dave called? No, not at all, no. Not at all surprised. Oh, well, that just seals it, doesn't it? Well, he's done the right thing now. It's only running clubs or running straight, or else Eddie London is out in fifth. Three eights on the spin. And he can only hit the low end of the straight, because if an ace does come, then it makes Dave a full house. Oh, that's given him a lot more outs now, Jesse. He's got a flush draw as well. That could have been the best card for London. A nine or a club. Or the ace of clubs. Doesn't want the ace of clubs. No, it's over. Hard luck, Eddie. Eddie London out in fifth position. He'll take 7,500 for his troubles, and uh, he really gave it a good pass. He gave it a good pass. Yeah. He really did. Not to worry. Well, that flop, three snowmen on the board for Dave Colclough, but London wasn't done. He picked up his best card on the turn. Straight draw, flush draw, but it all came to naught. Out in fifth, and we are down to four. The bubble. And uh, it'll be interesting to see right now, you know, between Ian Fraser and Barry Hearn, they've both got, you know, stacks. They want to see John Houston get eliminated, but they can't gamble uh, against Dave Colcloth. Will they play tight right now and try and let Houston and Colcloth fight each other? They are hoping that Houston goes all in, and they're hoping that Dave Colcloth's going to call and obviously knock Johnny out. That's, uh, they don't really want to get involved. I mean, a uh, big argument for Barry Hearn to fold all kinds of hands right now. Oh, of course. Definitely. Most definitely. If Johnny doubles up, he's back in Pass. it. He's folded queen 10 there. And he needs Pass. to. I'm all in. He needs to go all in now, yeah. He'll be unlucky if, Dave, if he goes three. into a, runs into a big hand. Well, he's, he's, he's favored, right? You know, he's favored to have the better hand, and he's got way better. Way better. There's no way Dave's going to call us. <laughs> He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to add fuel to fire. He doesn't want to double up Johnny and make him stronger than he is. Well, not just that, but 23 to win. Dave's thinking, well, I could have two life cards here, you know. I'm just wondering, uh, isn't Kolkoth in a stronger position as long as this stays four-handed? Kolkoth's thinking, if I stick 23,000 in now, we're down to three. I get 300,000 or more in chips, and we go to the final table, and he's in great shape. He could call this. Right. If he calls it, Johnny is going to be so happy to see an eight deuce. He's pondering the math. He says 23 to win 50 right now. Yeah, 23 to win 50, and we've got ourselves a final table. It's just over two to one. And he's he calling. says he's got the math. He doesn't, because he is dominated. Absolutely dominated. Ooh, eight. And uh, Houston, all of a sudden, this game may open up. If the King <laughs> 8 holds, I'll tell you what, we have got a match race here. Houston all in. There's that's the king. king. That's it. That's officially, that's killed it. And he's run, he needs two deuces now. Very difficult. <laughs> Very difficult is, is uh, an understatement. It's like a 97% chance of Johnny winning this pot. Oh, that's <laughs> totally killed it. On the impossible. <laughs> it's got pulled the king there. Like, <laughs> it's it's king nice up house. there, says John. He's a happy <laughs> man. I'll tell you what, that has made this very interesting. And uh, that's what he's done. The person <laughs> least pleased right now is uh, Barry Hearn. Oh, most definitely. Who has all of a sudden been put into a bit of jeopardy. Yeah, we'll, we'll down in the angles of history, will it? So close, you can smell it. The pie's on the windowsill. Only four left. Only three places at the final table. It could all be over soon, or there could be a whole lot of gamble left in this one. Houston first to speak in. 76,000, that will become 46 if he folds the next three hands. He knows that. I think any ace. 20 glass. glass. Oh, sure. Oof. Mm, that's not it. <laughs> okay, fold. Pass. Right. 
Paris Rice. found an ace. Paris found an ace. Is there any move he can make but all in? I think just all in, Bazza. Well, he's given himself the option. Oh, King Queen from Ian Fraser. I think Barry's going to get a call here at least. Does Ian want to gamble? Oh, he may just come over the top. I'm all in. I think Barry might have to call. Barry might have to call. I'm calling him. He yep, is calling. Called. It's a good call. It's wow. a gutsy call. He's ahead, but not by much. The happiest man at the table, Jesse, is Johnny Houston. <laughs> yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> You're right. Houston. And Houston's rooting for Ian Fraser right now. This could be worse. worth $10,000 to Houston here if uh, Barry gets knocked out. Well, Barry here has the lead. He's about a six to four favorite, and he'd love to see that ace on the flop. An ace should just about seal it for Barry here. Five cards of destiny. There's, oh, an ace. there's the ace. That's effectively, well, not, not going to count my chickens before they hatch because uh, he needs a runner runner to Zayn. Well, it's made her very strong. We've seen runner runner in this tournament before. Oh, Ooh. a 10. Four cards in the deck. A 10 would knock Barry Hearn out of the tournament in fourth place. Nope. Aces up holds. And, uh, well, this is going to make Barry Hearn all of a sudden. He's gone from the brink of extinction to now. Looking like a force in the final, and all of a sudden, it's Fraser versus Houston for the wow. cat seat. Houston looks sick as a dog. Yeah. But uh, I believe he now has more yeah. chips than Ian Fraser. He does. He has 10,000 more than Ian Fraser. If I'm looking at I can see his card there. And uh, Hearn, <laughs> I'll tell you what, Barry played that pot to try and get a double up uh, by not raising all in before the flop. But look at that pie now. There's two. Wedged in there, neck and neck. Yeah. This is a true bubble. This is a true bubble now. The happiest person at the table when they both went all in was Johnny Houston. Now is not so happy. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry, we'll see him again. Yeah, we should see an all in here. Pretty much automatic here for yeah. Fraser. All in. Oh. 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 It could be in a hell of a lot of trouble here, Johnny. I 56. think he's going to call him, Jesse. Yeah, I'm supposed to make 46. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's, he's gotten desperately unlucky. Yeah. It's so hard to believe that Fraser has an ace nine beat. That's right. Cool. Yeah, I knew he'd call him. And Cole Klotz folded a nine. This makes oh. it even worse for Houston. He's got two outs. Unless he hits a flush, he's only got two outs, yeah, Johnny. Come on. Come on. No, no, honestly. You sure? Yeah. I know you obviously got a good one. No. Please, lads. I think I'm monster in you. Houston <laughs> thought Fraser had him beat. Fraser thought good. Houston had him beat. And uh, as it is, just a... I mean, you have to you have to understand why Houston made that call. He mm -hmm. just thought Ace Nine was so strong, but as it is, he is in desperate trouble. I think he's got a few chips more. Well, he's got the nut flush draw. He's got a straight draw. That couldn't be anything worse for Johnny there, could it? No, Houston will not be out if he loses this pot. There's only it's one me. card that can help Houston: the Nine of Clubs. Well, there are split pot possibilities here. Yeah, any king, any six would make a, no. Any king, yeah, any, any queen, any, oh no, no, any king, any six, you're right. Yeah. Or the a nine queen, of clubs. Yeah, queen would work. No. It's, uh, it's doubled up. Houston thought he had it. He, he saw the road out, the path away. But Ian Fraser has now doubled up. And uh, Houston's yeah, down to, there. well, I think he's basically down Close to a big blind. Oh, he's down to the cloth now, isn't he? to have this knack, uh, Ian Fraser, of uh, picking up the right hand at the right time. That's what you call form. Had it been the other way round and Johnny would have had the ace check, it would have all been over. We'd have had a final.
couple beads of sweat from the half million dollar man's brow. And uh, that's understandable. And uh, Houston has so few Fast. chips that if he gets them in, it's oh. really a compulsory call. Seven high. <laughs> I think he's just had enough now, Jesse, to be honest. But, uh, I think he'll get a call from Dave. It's a reasonable argument. And if Dave doesn't call, uh, Barry can't fold any two cards. No. I mean, uh, Twenty thousand, and Colcloth cool. says, "Let's gang up on him." Yeah. He's dominated there with Barry's hand, Johnny. He needs a seven at least, a couple of sevens or some spades. Yeah, he needs a miracle. Is what yeah, he needs. He needs a miracle, Jesse. Houston can triple up, but he's all in. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, I think uh, this is likely to be the last hand of the tournament. Yeah, definitely. It's all over now for Johnny, unfortunately. Running spades or running all sevens. This is the end game for John Houston. It doesn't feel good. If it doesn't come a spade, a three or a seven, we have three for the final. There's a spade. There are nine cards in the deck, no eight cards in the deck to help him. He's hoping against hope. He's praying against prayers. No. It's all that over. is not I enough. This is all I'm over. Looking We've looking got our far. final three. And Dave Colcloth will be the chip leader at this stage at that final table. But Barry Hearn, Ian Fraser, they've both got chips. Houston played an inspiring game, but uh, he's out in fourth, and uh, that's been one of the best poker sessions we have seen. What a game, yes. what a game. Hard luck, Johnny. Well, John, you've just missed out on the final, but what a stormer you played today. Uh, I mean, how do you feel about the game? Oh, there's got to be winners and there's going to be losers, and, you know, a great bunch of lads. Um, and it, it was... <laughs> you know, I'm I'm gutted, obviously. You know what I mean. I mean, the big hand when I got Dave all in, which is the pair of fives. You know, and I hit the ace. I'm thinking this is my night, and I can sit back then as a player out and wait. But I got lucky, and I had to get busy. I was busy all night. You, <laughs> you were never out of a hand. You know, were you? I, I, you know I, I didn't. Um, I don't feel I played too many bad hands. I got unlucky, and and that was it. That that's you know, it's it's the game. That's what makes it great. One of the best games in the world. You made some big bluffs, some big laydowns. Yeah. At, at, at the end of the day, I mean, what a great match. What a great match for poker, really. Oh, yeah. I just hope everybody at home enjoyed it. I really do. <laughs> well, I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thanks, John. 10,000 anyway. Yeah, thanks, <laughs> Dark alleys or poker tables, it's all the same. Who's going forward? It's El Blondie Colcloth with the big old brain. Don't forget about the courage and bluff of Barry Hearn. You wouldn't leave out the half million man, though. The dead in form, Ian Fraser. Have you ever seen anything like it? I never have. What a poker game. Barry, the courage, the bluff. Ian, the roller coaster. And Dave Colcloth, what planet are you from? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dave, so many key hands tonight. Did, did any stand out in your mind? Uh, a certain pair of fives, when a five on the turn certainly stands out. It was good night Vienna if that five didn't come. So that's the one that stands out more than anything else. Barry, the uh, the ace five against uh, the king queen that doubled you up. That's put you in good stead for the final now, isn't it? Well, I needed some chips. You know, I was looking good after an hour. I never really kicked on. You know, I didn't find any other gears. And uh, you know, Ian's always been a, a bet noir to me. You know, he's always done me in games, and uh, that was just one that went my way for a change. But of course, he had a. He had a big escape himself, didn't he? He the, did, yeah, with this ace king on the river. King on the river, so yeah. I mean, Ian, Ian, you were you were down to twenty nine thousand, and then yeah. it was only about four hands later you were chip leader. I know, fantastic game. I really enjoyed it. Probably one of the best games I, I you know, I've enjoyed. Well, these three are through: Ian Fraser, Barry Hearn, Dave Colcloth. Who will they meet? Not me, thank God. But three more. We'll meet them next week at the PartyPoker.net European Open. <laughs>